Hi there, this is Namni, and welcome to my channel, Namni Technical. Now, we have all the required dependencies installed as we saw in the last video. So, coming to this video, we are going to see how to make a basic image carousel in React. So, without any delay, let's start. First of all, let me get into my VS Code. So, the first thing you have to do is make sure your React server is already up and running. My React server is already up and running. Let me show it one more time for you. So, this is my React server. Uh, let me refresh it for you okay right so now first thing let us do is uh we'll just uh, clean a code we'll just clean the code a little bit and then we'll jump into carousel right so for that just expand this src folder and uh, okay uh, this assets folder actually what i did is i just uh, downloaded some of the images from the internet so uh, to make use of them in the our carousel so that is the reason why i have this assets folder so you will not have this assets folder okay in the src folder so just expand this src folder and uh, get into app.js and uh, let us clean this okay uh, what i'll do is i'll just clear this uh, header part uh, and i'll just type in uh, h1 and uh, basic image carousel in react right so i'm sorry in it is in react so just press ctrl and save okay i don't want to this import this logo as we are not using it i just want to clear this uh, import statement as well right so okay just press ctrl and save uh, back to my browser now we are good to go right so we are able to see this basic image carousel in react which is in our app js right but uh, why it is being centered we did not return any css right so okay the reason is okay okay we are importing app.css as well so what is in the app.css okay i as it is a textile and center so that's the reason why we are able to see that in the center right so uh, just to clear this uh, just press ctrl s save now it should be everything should be okay okay uh, okay but one more thing is uh, we are uh, getting some margins okay 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 guys uh, see whenever you are working with react uh, you have to uh, do this step okay uh, definitely have to do this step uh, otherwise uh, we will uh, able to see some unnecessary margins like this okay so now whenever whenever you start a react project so just uh, blindly uh, write these lines okay see to clear that unnecessary margin as you suggest now so what you'll do is uh, just type in margin i'm sorry so this is uh, to avoid uh, unnecessary margins so just type in margin and uh, zero and uh, uh, type these two lines as well padding also uh, just give it as zero oh, why it is okay i'm sorry actually okay padding zero and uh, box sizing of border box now just press ctrl s save now uh, we don't need uh, this app.cs anymore so that's why i'll just close it okay now it is aligned to the top left right so now we are getting uh, now we just uh, get rid of all that uh, unnecessary margin right so now we are good to go right so now let us work on the carousel part right so for that what i'll do is i'll just uh, create a new component so just click on this and i'll name it as carousel.js right and then click enter it will create a new file for us so uh, just type in rafc actually uh, this is due to uh, extension so just click on this extension and just type in es7 react redux something else something it will be uh, something like that and just install it okay so uh, just click click over here click enter i'll just take a h1 tag and i'll just type in uh, basic carousel now let's use this component in our app.js so i'll just copy the name of it uh, now uh, i don't want this anymore i'll just clear that I'll just copy that name okay uh, but i am i don't want to import manually this carousel right by writing some import uh, from so and so on right so what i'll do is just come over to the end of this name just press control and space bar see it will auto suggest us now if you click enter see it will automatically import for us now just press control s save now we should be able to see basic carousel instead of the text we have seen earlier right okay basic carousel right this means our react component is working fine right so this component is working fine okay now coming to the topic uh, making a image carousel right basic image carousel so 
See, uh, whenever you install any packages, if you want to use them, what will what will be doing? Right. The first thing we have to do is we have to import them. Right. So let's import them. Okay. The first one we are going to import is the slider component, uh, which is provided by React Slick package. Right. So just type in import. Uh, it is uh, named as slider. Okay. Don't make any typos. Uh, from from where? From React Slick. Okay, right. So this is the component we are going, which we are going to use it, and uh, we also uh, we should also import uh, some things. Uh, for uh, these are for the default styles, okay, uh, which are provided by the Carousel package, which all which we also installed. Uh, so just type in import slick carousel slash slick slash and slick dot css, okay. See, these are these are for the default styles, right? Otherwise, uh, it will look ugly, right? So just copy that. Uh, we should also import one more thing. Oh, I, it will be same almost up to here. So that's why I just uh, copy pasted it. So now slick uh, theme dot CSS, right? Okay, uh, import slick carousel slick. Theme. Okay, okay, right. Now we have imported uh, the required like components and all the default styles, right? Now we have to use it, right? So, just come over to here and just type in slider, then close it. Okay. Okay. Now, how to make a carousel, right? So, the we, should, we will make a carousel with the help of this component. And now, what should we write inside this component actually? See, uh, what you want to show inside a carousel that you should uh, that you should write inside this slider, right? Say uh, you want to say you want to show some H1 tag. So, just take a div and write that h1 in that div and you'll be good to go right see you can you can even show your uh, custom made component as well see it will be dependent on the use cases right we'll see we'll see different use cases right see at the end of this playlist as i said we'll see that flipkart homepage then you will uh, you will have all the doubts clear right so for now we are going to see a basic image carousel so that's why i'll take a div tag i'll take a div and in that i'll just take a image tag in order to show the image right so just take a div so for that just uh, click dot and click tab or enter and i'll just clear this uh, class name and i just want to show image right so that's why i'm taking a div and then image tag in that so okay now what is the source actually so as i said i downloaded some images so first of all uh, let us import them import uh, i'll just say this as image one okay so image one from i'm sorry from uh, where from dot slash assets slash actually i uh, forgot this name carousel image right okay so just type in carousel image dot uh, jpg so okay don't make any typos uh, let me check one c a r o carousel image okay okay right so now we are going to use this uh, image as a source for this so image one right so uh, let me uh, let me import all the images so that it will look like a slider i mean it will look like a carousel right uh, otherwise if you have only one image uh, we can we will not be able to slide and so on right so what i'll do i'll just uh, copy paste all this uh, some more times quickly okay uh, this should be one image one from one and uh, two and here it will be three uh, four five and six right so total uh, we have six images right okay six images now let me change over here as well so it will be of image two it will be image three image four image five and image six right now let us use those images as well so what I'll do is I'll just uh, copy paste this five more times. So just uh, co uh, select that and just press Alt Shift on down arrow. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Let me uh, change this as well quickly. So image three and this will be image four and this will be image five and this will be image six. Right. Okay. Okay, uh, just type in uh, alt means uh, just type in image one, image two, image three, like that. So far now I am not going to type anything, right? 
so just play, uh, control s save so like this see if you want to use image tag what you'll do is just take a div tag see don't write this uh, bare image tag without taking this div otherwise you will face some of the difficulties i am saying this uh, from my experience actually i am i am not able to uh, give high width and height uh, to this image if i am not surrounding it by this div tag so that's the reason i am just sharing it with you so uh, if you want to show uh, any text like oh, so just take a div and uh, instead of this image uh, take a p tag or take a h1 tag so like that and just type your text okay so for, uh, as we are going to see image carousel we are going to, we are took we took uh, this image tag okay now just press control s save now back to your browser see uh, we are able to see some sort of images over here and this ugly scroll bar actually horizontal scroll bar and actually this is not looking a uh, carousel from any side and we are not even able to see these arrows right to slide uh, okay let us see actually there are no arrows over here right so okay we have to deal with the css part for this okay we have to do some stuff with the css right so before going to the css part what i'll do is i'll just style this uh, image uh, somewhat just by giving some inline styles so what i'll do is i'll just take a style attribute and i'll say width should be of 100 percent no compromise in that width of 100 percent and height I'll just say uh, 50 VH now just press ctrl s save okay now our height is decreased uh, somewhat but uh, this uh, scroll bar is we are still able to see that scroll bar okay now I got the icon here is the icon now we are we are able to slide through the images but we are not able to see this icon right actually why we are not able to see this icon and uh, on the right side on the right side we are uh, somehow we found the uh, that icon i mean that uh, arrow to slide but on the left side uh, we are not able to see that right and we are getting this ugly horizontal scroll bar as well now let's figure out that okay let's fix that okay you know to fix that just come to the outermost div okay just come to the outermost div and give it a style attribute and just say margin of uh, for now I'll just say 30 pixel just press ctrl s so what it will do is it will just push our slider from all the slides see like this it will just push our slider from all the sides so that uh, our image becomes somewhat small and the slider becomes totally somewhat small and we will get rid of that uh, horizontal scroll bar now we should be able to find the icon right okay here is the uh, icon to slide through the images right okay now now let us work uh, on this uh, icons right so we are not able to see the icons right so for that we are we should concentrate on the css part right so what i'll do is i'll just uh, make a new file and i'll just name it as carousel dot css right so uh let me import as well now itself otherwise i'll forget it import dot slash don't make any typos guys carousel dot css and uh, we have to somehow we should make that icon visible right so what is the reason behind it so it may be of uh, like uh, if, if the color of it is white uh, or if the background of it is white and if the color of it is white so as our background is also white we should we cannot see that right so somehow if we change its color or its background color we will be able to see that icon right so in order to change uh, CSS of anything, we should be able to know either its class name or if we able to access it by its span or div tag, we can directly give an uh, inline style attribute like this, right? But that is uh, uh, that is done by the slider component uh, behind the hood, right? So the only thing we have is uh, the only way we can style is by accessing its class name, right? So the class names which are given to that are like this, okay? slick arrow slick arrow and dot slick hyphen preview okay this is for the preview icon that means uh, this is for the left icon so that means if you click on that it will take us to the previous image right so that's why i think they gave it like that so slick arrow slick preview 
and the next class name will be almost same so what i'll do is i'll just copy paste that and this will be of select next see uh, we want as both the icons are not visible we want to style both the icons right so why why to why what is the need of writing the all the css uh, styles two times so that's why we can do like this so we can just uh, separate a them by comma the class names by comma and then we if we give uh, styles over here this will be applied to both of these classes right so uh, this first line will be for the previous icon that is the leftmost icon and uh, this uh, next will be for the rightmost icon right so for now let us see by changing its background color uh, will will it be able to see or not okay so just type in green and uh, just press ctrl s save uh, make sure every file is saved I'll just close this app.js. Okay, every file is saved and we imported as well, right? So now, oh, oh what is this actually? No such file or directory. D carousel dot css. Okay, why is this a case? Or did we made any typos? C R O U carousel dot css. Okay, oh, I'm sorry guys, actually this uh, this file is saved under assets folder, right? So just uh, bring that outside to SRC folder. Just uh, click on that and drag outside, okay? So now, uh, now it is un under the SRC folder and now uh, everything should be working fine, right? So just come out to your browser, okay? Okay, guys, now I think now we'll, we will uh, we uh, at last uh, we found these icons, right? So that means... Uh, Still now this background color is white by default, right? So that's the reason why uh, we are we did not able to see these icons. But after changing this background uh, color, uh, so somehow we are able to find these icons, right? So uh, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, we saw how to use this package to make a basic image carousel in React, right? So in the upcoming videos, what we'll do is we'll just explore this package a little bit and take our carousel to on the next level so if you find any kind of value from this video do share with your friends and uh, do like the video if you like the content and uh, subscribe guys subscribe to my channel to get the further updates and thanks for watching